Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a little um, comparison between two pencils. So I have just gotten, bring over the whole set, <laughs> the uh, Castle Art Supply Pencils, 120 premium colored pencils. Thank you, Kenny. And I also have the Sergeant Art Supreme. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> uh, pencils. And I noticed when I was swatching out, swatching out, sorry, the pencils in my little book here, I have, let's see, here we go, Sergeant Arts here, okay? And I have right next door the uh, Castle Arts. And as I'm swatching, I'm kind of noticing some similarities between the pencils and their colors. So what I did, I mean, I even did it here, the Mahogany Sergeant Art, and this is number 25 in the other one. And I mean, the colors are so close. So I went through and I grabbed some colors out in blue tones, orange tones, red tones, brown tones, green tones, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to try to match them up and I'm going to swatch them in their little sets. One, you get to see uh, the colors. I'm gonna do it on the same kind of paper that I have. Uh, anybody wondering, I made the um, book. I got a piece of leather, cut it to the right size, punched the holes in it, put the cords in it, made it so it was big enough to hold what I needed. And when I do that, I also make <laughs> the pieces that I need on the inside, minus the one uh, hardback book in there. Okay, so I did this on Word. It's just two columns with, you know, lines in it. And it's uh, set up so I can put the word or the number of the pencil, name, number, whatever you need to use down here, and then color in up here. And since I have that in the book and I was using this paper, which is, I don't know, Georgia Pacific Bright uh, 28 weight, I think. And I use it for every single pencil, every single um, watercolor, ink tents, graphite, everything. Just because I know what this paper does and doesn't do. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is going to bring you down a little closer to um, the page and we're going to start and I'm going to swatch the two colors side by side here. One on the top, one on the bottom, all the way down on the ones that color are pulled out and you can see how these work. So we are going to start with the um, Sergeant Art one here. And all I do when I'm swatching is hold the pencil way, way back. Uh, that's to me way back because I have to have it resting on my hand. So light covering, then I go to right about here and do another coloring. So that's our second layer. And then just over here in the corner, and we do a third layer. Kind of blend those out a little bit. And then I take it up close and press as hard as I can. May not look pretty, but at least I know what I'm going to do in a coloring book with those colors. So that is the Sergeant Art one. This is the Castle Art one. Same thing. Light coating. I'm getting smaller and smaller. And then we press really hard. And those are pretty darn close. You'll notice uh, they shine the same, so they have the same kind of sheen to them. They 
mix about the same way. This one's just a tiny bit darker, but I mean, when you're looking at it, it really doesn't look that different. I'm going to go in with uh, Orange Blossom and number 19. <laughs> Same thing. Halfway. Quarter of the way. And then hard pressure. Do the same thing with number 19. Now the only thing I notice about these castle art ones is they do kind of give off a little crumble when you press hard. Not exactly sure why. I tried to look up on their site what kind of, um, what they used in their pencils, but I don't know. They didn't really say. I was going to put um, 19 and orange blossom. I'll put the other ones up there too, which was 16. Bright orange. Okay, we have brown and we will do the dark brown. Is 68. Okay, we're going to go with the blues. We have number 45 and a dark blue. dark blue. Well, I said it and I already forgot it. <laughs> okay. We have a purple here, so deep purple in 28.
So the only other thing I notice when I'm coloring with these, the um, Sergeant Art seemed to be a little creamier on some of the pencils. This one is going to be the green gray and 64. They're not scratchy or anything on this paper and this paper is kind of known to be scratchy so they're creamier. Not all of these are as rough either. I'm probably blurring that black line, sorry about that. Because as you can tell, <laughs> these colors are pretty darn close. We got uh, two left, so we're going to do the mahogany one. wanted to get a, a range of colors for you to see. And this one kind of crumbled a little too. There we go. So that's 25. Don't know how to spell mahogany. It's not a word I use often. <laughs> and then we have uh, green. So I thought I would, instead of just using plain old green, we're going to go with the pale green because I thought this was a very unusual color in the sergeant art set and I do have to kind of put it down a little heavier because it doesn't um, show up terribly well it's a kind of a neon color and here we go <laughs> Okay, that is 61, and pale green, right? Green. So there you go. These are just a couple of them that I picked out. And they may just be a tiny bit off. This one does have a little tiny bit more red than that one. But they are pretty darn close. Now oh, my cat's going to eat some plastic. Sorry about that. I'm going to get him away from the garbage. So I found that very interesting. They lay down pretty much the same, especially on this paper. So I don't know um, what they're going to do in a coloring book yet. I haven't tried that out. They are, you know, down when they're down. They don't rub off. You can get them dark all the way to light. You can blend these the same. They don't feel um, waxy when you have them down. They have a nice pigment, so that works out well for them. So kind of between the two, I mean, I love my Sargent Art Supreme pencils. I, I do, I think they are really nice pencils. <laughs> and I enjoy using them, especially in, um, Joanna Basford books. They work really well. And I have a feeling that the uh, Castle Art Supply 
is going to work just as well. The only thing that I noticed when we opened the box on the Castle Art Supply box, it did have a, um, hmm, it's a, it's a, it's a different odor than it is when you open another pencil box. So, well, my daughter had said it kind of smells like the paint. It goes away after, um, I've had them, what, two, two days, three days, two days, maybe three days. It was at night, so two and a half days, <laughs> and the uh, smell is gone, so I would uh, suggest you take out the um, little plastic thing that comes in the box because that kind of holds the odor in. I like the feel of the pencils. They're, they're light, they're soft, they're, um, these have got a shinier coating on them. This is a matte, so it has a little different feeling. It's not as smooth and slippery as this one, so you have a little more grip. These do feel a little different. Um, these are soft also. These have got a little more grip to them when you just touch them. But like I say, they lay down the same. You can, you saw me scribbling on the paper. I went over it a lot. So, I mean, layering it is not going to be a problem either. They do basically have uh, a lot of the same colors. So I would assume that the, I'm assuming, the Castle Art Supplies has at least a if not all of the 72 that the other one has in the same color family. So I'm going to go ahead and color a um, picture in one of my books with this in my next video, but I just thought you might be interested in the uh, two sets. They're different prices. The 120 set of the Castle Arts I believe is around or under $30 for those. Um, the Sergeant Arts, you only get the 72 of them. And I think they're about the same price too. So just giving you some information. I think I'll like them both. And I know that the Castle um, Arts are getting a lot of reviews from a lot of different people. So I just thought I'd share my two cents. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, uh, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to have uh, notifications for my next video, ring the little bell. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.